Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PWG Pro Wrestling Gorilla Episode 7. This is a three Mendes 4 event. We are in front of 1,985 fans. That's right. It's not a it's not a mirage. We are in New York at the Gallagher Center where we are at an armory with a video screen in the corner. And I'm very excited about that video screen being in the corner. Cohen, Cohen's here as always. Cohen, what's going on, bud? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, Cohen, is that a brand new video screen is in the corner of the armory. We are in New York. PWG has always only ran in California pretty much aside from their European tours, but tonight it will be a surprise spot-up show in New York in front of almost 2,000 screaming PWG fans. A brand new screen is in the corner of their armory as we get a video from none other than Kushida. The standing room only attendance at the armory seems thrilled, Cohen, that for the New York show, we're going to see Kushida. Debuting here in PWG tonight, it then flashes who he's facing, the aerial assassin himself, Will Osprey. Osprey. That's right, Kushida with an above average start, 59C, we are in New York tonight for a special PWG event, 3 Mendes 4, let's keep going, 59C. In the opening match, Big Guys, which is the team. Of Brian Pillman Jr. and Desmond Xavier defeat Best Friends and Ray Phoenix and Ray Horace in 1352. Phoenix and Horace went out and then Best Friends went out. Horace was the weak link struggling to keep everyone else. Chuck Taylor Cohen was a 48. Trent 55, 56 and 59 for Xavier and Pillman who are becoming two of my stars. 38 and 48 for Horace and Phoenix. A 56 C- minus overall and the big guys. Desmond Xavier and Brian Pillman Jr. defeated Best Friends and the Rays. <laughs> I guess the two Rays to get the victory. Chuck Taylor is improving in performance. Cohen and Ray Horace is improving in performance as well. 56C. Sorry, Chucky e. T. Next up in a decent match. Paul London defeats Switchbade. Jay White and 934 by pinfall with a shooting star press. This match got the crowd hunter. 62 for London, 48 for White. White is improving in performance and a 59C out the gate here with Jay White and Paul London. Next up in a decent match, Cohen. Jack Evans defeats Sammy Guevara in 13-20 bar pinfall with a 6-30 cents on. Jack Evans and Evans has not suited to his gimmick. Jack Evans had an in-ring performance of a 51. Guevara with a 50. Nothing to see here, Cohen, unfortunately. 53C minus. Next up, but about that had good wrestling and a decent reaction. Ricochet, Cohen, defeats Joey Ryan in 1524 by pinfall with a diving double knee drop. Ricochet makes defense number seven of his PWG Heavyweight Championship. 73 for Ricochet. 50 for Joey Ryan. No skin improvements. We have some breaking news we'll go ahead and get into at the end of the show. 72B minus, though, for Joey Ryan and Ricochet. All right. We are now going to go to intermission where we look at the video screen here in New York and see a massive match coming up, Cohen, as Matt Riddle, Jeff Cobb, is injured, taking on Michael Elgin, plus a huge three versus three tag team match coming up soon. You actually know one half of that tag team match. 53C- minus here for Riddle and Elgin. Next up, in a decent match, Michael Elgin defeats one half of the PWG World Tag Team Champions of the Chosen Bros, Matt Riddle. In 1535, Cohen by pinfall with a sit-down power form. 64 for Riddle, 53 for Elgin. Riddle was even off his game, and he still outperformed Michael Elgin. Matt and Michael with a very good match here. 63 to T, but unfortunately, no skill improvements. That's unfortunate, Cohen. Next up, and about, oh, look at this, 72. Tied for my, or one point below my highest rating ever. And about that, a good wrestling and a decent reaction. The Young Villains, the PWG name for Matt and Nick Jackson with Marty Skrull, defeated Candice LeRae, Dalton Castle, who's making his PWG debut, and Zack Sabre Jr. in 1640 when Nick defeated Dalton by pinfall with a 450. Castle was the weak link, unfortunately, and he put up a 46 cone, so it could have been worse. Candice with a 58, Sabre with a 74, Matt with a 72, Nick with a 69, Marty Skrull with a 60, Dalton debuted his weirdo gimmick, which was average. No skill improvement. 72 B minus. Cullen, we're going to throw to you for a second. What did you think of the new name, The Young Villains? Uh, I got it because Marty Squirrel, the villain, the Young Bucks, the tag team name has Young Bucks in it. So Young Villains, I so get it. He so gets it. F-T-R-R, you get it, right? No, no, no. I don't. Do okay. you? I do, I do. <laughs> in a belt that had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd, Kushida. 
defeats Will Ospreay Cohen in 1332 by pinfall with the Magnet Express. Will Ospreay with a 67, Kushida with a 53, 62 C minus with this special attraction match here at a uh, three Mendes uh, four. Excuse me. Yes, four 62 C here. Let's go and see what our show ending rating called. What was it? 65. 58. This is not great. <coughs> our show appeared worse because our live experience level is worse than one of our rivals. Uh, same thing. Here's the problem, Cohen. Since you've been away, we rose to regional, which is great. But you know who else is regional? NXT. See? And they're going to kill us because our production values do not anywhere nearly rival theirs. So it's going to be interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give uh, Marty Skrull. And, oh, you want to do the Young Bucks? Yeah. All right, and the Bucks because they uh, won the match. The young villains. Let's see what our ratings are here. Let's go and simulate through this, Cohen. That, so the, we just finished finishing uh, recording Tremendous 4. We're going to go ahead and check on an injury situation. Jeff Cobb, unfortunately, is injured longer than we could have hoped. Now, all the way back at card subject to uh, change volume 2, which was a second episode, volume uh, episode 2, card subject to change, the Young Bucks lost again and were sworn off another title shot as long as the Chosen Bros were the champions. Here's the problem. The Chosen One. Bros now have missed two shows. They're being stripped of their titles. Unless we're going to do this, Cohen. Let's see, let's see what it is. Brian Cage is out for another 40 days. So that'll be two, two more shows per the way we um, do our stuff. So here's what's happening. At the Battle of Los Angeles, which it will be a four-hour event, I believe. Yes, four-hour event, single-night tournament. I'm not going to do multiple shows because I can't afford it. But... At the Battle of Los Angeles, Cohen, which is a one-night tournament, we will have a special tag team match. Matt and Nick Jackson will get another tag team championship against the Chosen Bros. But Brian Cage isn't there. So we are going to let Matt Riddle find any partner of his choosing. And we're kind of cheating because we're, we said they couldn't have another title shot, right? But, but technically, it's only one half of them. Yeah, so it we're doesn't gonna, count. So it doesn't count. They're going to get one shot. Let's see what our rating was. Return, Jack Evans, extension. We got a 0.8. This is fantastic. We've been getting 0.03s. This was a 0.08. Um, let's go ahead and check our prestige. Just because we like to do that. Prestige for the World Tag Team. Same, same. Let's see. Let's check our prestige, Cohen. Yep, yep, yep. Let's check our tag team. We just can't get the tag team raised, which is unfortunate. But anyways, let's check our performance so far. We are up $274. Not a lot of money. But either way... This was Pro Wrestling Gorilla Pete WG Episode 7, 3 Mendes 4. We are going to be heading to the Battle of Los Angeles, California, where we live. There? Yeah, well, we live in California, so yeah. we're not going to really be there, but in the game, but we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, pretend. We'll be, uh, this was PWG Episode 7. Have a glorious rest of your day. day.